Shalom. We the real Hebrews. Let's come to you week in and week out. Prophet said, "Return to the Most High and His heavenly Son." All praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Shimia Shai by Shimon Kakarash? Double honors to Pastor out of New York, Great Millstone GMS, and as well, I command the planet. The people name me How are you? Shai, in truth and sincerity. That was uh, jump right into it. With Uriah, double honors to Pastor out of New York, Great Millstone and GMS. <coughs> I just saw him all around the planet. Look at the name of Yahweh watching me on Shy and Truth. Sincere. I think I said that, but I'm sure. Make sure I put it out there. Put double blessings from brothers. Because we're the ones out here doing the work. We out there in the trenches. We out there in the front lines. And you got this. Um, and it's funny the way this uh, play button is. Looks like this bitch got a beard. When you pray, play, it's not. But this, this is an example of why women need to shut the fuck up and listen to the real men of the Lord. And if you listen to these the ideology of the world and these women this is what you're going to get madness confusion okay i'm just going to play it and do a little small this is really a small com commentary uh this is small commentary man but this is the this is how females who think they in the truth some of them are i ain't gonna say all of them because the, the good one's gonna be quiet and be behind the scenes and support how the lord will have them support you know suck secure secure a succor, S U C C O A R E R, something like that. Succor, which is a help to uh, sustain brothers. Some people send, you know, financial support. Some send uh, um, garments. Some I've seen brothers receive a lot of things from different spiritual women who stay behind the scenes and and be quiet and and you know say the shallow woman out. You know, saying or just ask a question and, and dip back out. All right, because lords that you know keep that foot when you come to the congregation of the heavenly Father. All right, and the woman to keep silence in the church, okay? Matter of fact, the brother got it here on the comment board, 1 Corinthians uh, 14, 34. Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. Um, uh, God, all right, so I'm going to press play. Go ahead. Shalom everybody. So this hopefully is not going to be a too long of a video because I do have to go to work but this has been on my heart for the past two weeks. Um, the most I told you to do something you don't do it you know how life can go. Alright the Lord would never tell you to teach something off or tell you to do something wrong. Okay now angels on the left hand side which also come in the spirit will. See you don't know the difference. Okay. I'll give you a quick, quick example. All right. Uh, all right. Um, this is First Kings twenty two twenty. Um, and let's go up a little bit. Verse nineteen, and he said, "Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord, Yahweh. I saw Yahweh sitting on his throne, and all the host of heaven standing by him." On his right hand and on his left. Now, the right hand side of the Most High represents the angels that are set up to lead you into righteousness. The angels on the left hand side are the angels set up to lead you into foolishness. Now, the thing is, neither one of these angels will make you do nothing. They will just suggest shit and suggest shit and suggest shit. And guess what? You will have to follow your heart, your mind and prove who, what you're made of okay and that's the balance of how about shim yahweh shai about shim rakaka that's what i'm gonna say all right so like i had a delivery and um i had to run out for a second um yeah but the angels on the left you have angels on the left hand side you have angels on the right hand side Angels on the left hand side or right hand side are only going to suggest and they don't make you do nothing. They suggest you're going to follow the thoughts of your heart. I'll come back and read, the, continue on this, but let me go prove that real quick. All right. All right. Uh, all right. Let's go to Brother James. Uh, yeah. James 1.14. Uh, let's go up a little bit. Verse 13. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, but God cannot be tempted with evil, evil neither tempteth he any man. So Lord ain't 
making you go do something wrong. The Lord made me do this. It's God is it. No, you do what the fuck you want to do when you want to fucking do it. And when the angels on the left and the angels on the right speak, they only make suggestions. So just because you hear these things don't mean God said do that. Uh, if God's going to tell you to do something, it's from him. If it's a direction, a suggestion from him, it's going to come through him, through the right-hand side angels. And you either hear that and that's what you want. Mm -hmm. If you don't follow that... Uh, uh, then you're going to fall by that. So I can double check that's business on one second. Kind of cut. So um, uh, it says, but every man is tempted when he, okay, let me go back up again. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of the Most High. But the Most High cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he, that particular individual, is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. All right, so this female, she's going to show that this is her ideology because she feels and she was raised that this is how you should be but it's not the heavenly father's words okay and that's the reason why it's so important don't get caught up in your emotions and don't teach anything that's contrary to the actual scriptures and if you have read the scriptures then you would know but she hasn't read because if she would read she wouldn't even know she wouldn't say what the things that she was saying all right especially if she really believed read and believed what she had read all right but she ain't read she hadn't she didn't read and, and it's going to be evident. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, that this makes sense. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it bringeth forth sin. And now she put her foot in her goddamn mouth. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death, which is going to be the end result if she doesn't repent. Because if anybody listens to her, they're going to get destroyed by the Most High. Okay? And this is how simple it is. Matter of fact... Uh, let me see. Uh, let me go back now to that first Kings. 22. 19. All right. Uh, my bad. They put everything right. First. See if that works. Thank you. Nope. Still bullshit. That's all right. First. Kings. 22. 19. All right, and he said, "Hear this word, the Lord. I saw, uh, the, uh, I saw the Lord sitting on His throne, and all the hosts of heaven standing by Him on the left, on the right hand, and on His left. So the right hand represents those angels who are going to try to send you to the righteousness, and the angels on the left are going to try to send you to go off into wickedness. All right, um, and the end result is you and your lust, you and your heart, and you and your mind is going to follow you. All right, now if you follow the Lord." You're, you're going to make sure everything you decide is going to be matched up in the scriptures. And you're going to vet it. And you're going to, because the Lord says, prove all things and hold fast that which is good. First Thessalonians 5.21 to my knowledge. Or my 5.19.20.21, somewhere around there. Okay? He said, prove all things and hold fast that which is good. So you got to prove. You got to do your read. You got to do the work. All right? It says, um... And the Lord said, who shall persuade, persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? Now, a, the Most High made a judgment. Ahab is wicked as fuck and he needs to go get destroyed. Okay. But Ahab was hard headed and he wouldn't, he didn't want, he, he and he did not trust the prophets because, uh, and he didn't trust the Heavenly Father. He was wicked and he was trying to preserve his own ass. Okay. And one said, now one said on this matter and another said on this matter. So different angels made different suggestions, different opinions, and different ways they could go about to cause Ahab to go fall. And there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. I'll talk to him and I will try to get them to, uh, matter of fact, let's the word persuade. To persuade Pathah. To be spacious, be open, be wide, to be simple, entice. I would entice them. It didn't say force them, it said entice them, deceive them, persuade them. All right? So the, he didn't, it wasn't, the, the, the suggestion was put out there and they followed the suggestion and then they would go get destroyed. If they would say, oh, I, don't, I hear that suggestion. Oh, let me go see if that's in the book. Oh, that's not how we do. I'm not on that. Okay, and you will have to make that conscious decision and avoid the trap. Okay. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? 
And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lion spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, thou, thou, oh, he said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. So the Lord said, okay, if you can do it, go ahead and do it. Because you're going to do it. All right? Because I want this nigga to fall. So the angel uh, uh, went out, went to the ear of the, the prophets and uh, which got into the ear of uh, Ahab. And he went up and he fell. Okay? And the Lord got his ass. But the whole process is the angels don't make you do nothing. And you're going to always hear something from the spirit that's either going to try to push you to righteousness or to wickedness. But it's not the most high forcing you to do anything. So she don't know what you're talking about. All right. So let's get back into this. Go. Um, so I know that I'm going to ruffle some feathers. And honestly, I don't care. Um, I will say that people need, you need to read your Bible. Like, okay. don't. See, now, if she read her, but she just put her foot in her mouth. Scripture says, keep thy foot when you come to the congregation of the Most High. Uh, watch where you walk, watch where you tread. Otherwise, your foot going to end up in your mouth. Okay? And it might be a hard foot in the mouth knocking out them teeth. Them teethuses. Okay? Let me get that real quick. Um... So Ecclesiastes 1 Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the Most High And be more ready to hear Than to give a sacrifice of fools But they consider not that they do evil She doesn't. She's not considering that she's doing evil With what she's doing And what she's doing is evil as fuck Don't listen to me Don't listen So if you're going to say don't listen to me Why are you teaching? Listen to them Don't, don't listen to them the men of the Lord. Don't listen to the men of the Lord. The so-called group she's saying. Now, I put this up. If people follow that ideology, no one would have listened to Yahweh Shai. Because they would say, don't listen to them. Don't listen to, uh, don't listen to me. Don't listen to them. Which means the preachers, the teachers, the men of the Lord, the prophets. Those out there speaking in the name of the Lord. Don't listen to nobody. Just follow this itty bitty my thing that's in your head. Well, you listening to the angels, that's, uh, which angels are you listening to? The right-hand side or the left-hand side? Ones that are going to send your ass off because you follow that shit or the ones that are going to send you to righteousness because you follow that shit. But you got to know your word. So I will agree, you do got to read. Okay? But you haven't read it. I'm going to prove it in a minute. Okay? Listen to whoever. Read your Bible before so you... So basically, read your Bible. So you can get this on your own without... A person. Let me cut that. All right. This is the book of uh, Nehemiah 8. And 7. Also, Joshua, Bani, Sherebiah, Jamin, Akub, Shabithia, Hadijah, Maasiah, Ma Kalita, Azariah, Josabad, Hanan, Palia, I mean Palaya, and the Levites caused the people to understand the law. And the people stood in their place. So they read in the book of the law of God distinctly, clearly, okay, and gave the sense, made them understand it because they couldn't understand it on their own. And caused them to understand the reading. You need a man of the Lord to make you understand the reading. All right, Nimwit. All right. And, uh, This is what uh, the, the eunuch said to uh, 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 Philip. Verse 28, 30, Acts 8, 27. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority, under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure and had come to Jerusalem for to worship, was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said unto Philip, Go near, and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran thither to him, and heard him read the prophet Isaiah, and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? 
And he said, how can I, except some man should guide me? And desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. You can't get this on your own. You got to get it from Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, who's going to send you the man of the Lord. All right. Jeremiah 44. Ooh, verse 44. All right. Jeremiah 44. All right. And verse, verse. Come on now. You can do Thank you. And for how be it, I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. He been sending us. And for the record, Amos 3 and 7, if you just in case you didn't know, surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. He's not talking to you. You're not a prophet. All right. So he's only speaking to the men of the Lord. He said, the flock of my pasture are men. You don't know. You ha Have you not yet read? He ain't read. Okay. So she doesn't know what she's talking about. Let's go back a little bit. Shalom, everybody. So this hopefully is not going to be a too long of a video because I do have to go to work. But this has been on my heart for the past two weeks. Um, the most I told you to do something, you don't do it. You know how life can go. Okay, well, the most I did not command you to go off. You listen to spirits on the left hand side who suggested you and you battle with this two weeks. Why did you battle for two weeks? Because the angels on the right were telling you not to do it. And so you got into the battle between the left hand and the right hand side. And your ass went to your desires. Um, so I know that I'm going to ruffle some feathers. And honestly. Because it's not true. And what you're about to say is love your enemy. When the scripture says never trust thine enemy. All right. And that he hates Esau. And for us to hate him. You don't know what you're saying. I'm going to prove it. I don't care. Um, you don't care about the most high. Um, I will. So don't care about being destroyed. Say that people need, you need to read your Bible. Like, don't listen to me. The only thing she said out of her mouth that was truthful is you need to read your Bible. But then she she fucked up and get uh, verbal diarrhea right after. Don't listen to them. Don't, don't listen to them. Don't listen to whoever. Don't listen to whoever, which means the Lord. Yahweh Shai, man. He came down here. He walked and talked. Did they all listen to him? No. Those who did not listen to them got destroyed. He said, he, um, he that is not with me is against me. But he was mad. They said, who gave you the authority? Who told you this? Who told you that? And they, and they tried to kill him and they eventually killed him. This is what you're doing. Read your Bible before you make a decision on an organization or a group, a camp, or anything that you want to identify yourself with. The most sides said now... You, 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 the most I said that the, the men of the Lord comes in camps. So let's put the word company and see what the Lord, what kind of company the most high deals with. Who's his company? All right. Let's see. First Samuel 10 and 5. After this thou shalt come to the hill of God, where is the garrison of the Philistines. And it shall come to pass, when thou art come thither to the city, that thou shalt meet a company, a camp, of prophets, coming down from the high place, with a psaltery and a tabard and a pipe and a harp before them, and they shall prophesy. The men of the Lord are in the camps. And I just read the Lord don't do nothing, but he revealeth his secret to his servants, the prophets. So you got to listen to a camp. And you have to listen, pick and find the right camp. And the only way to find the right, right camp is a tree will be known by its fruits. They're going to go break down these words. They're going to break down these uh, definitions. They're going to go down into the precepts upon precept, precept upon precept. And they're going to be doing it uh, over a long period of time, starting with the apostles on down. Okay. And then and, and they're going to, the, the scriptures and the doctrine is going to be vetted by the prophet by the prophecies that are going on in the world today on top of what the prophecies were foresaid and foretold to happen and they're going to match hook, line, and sing God. All right? Be 
because once you you once you start reading the Bible, you will see a lot of a lot of differences. I'm just going to say that. Um, well, let's see. You're saying uh, one thing, and the Bible saying another. Let's see. If you are in line or different with the Bible, let's see. But yeah, I'm going to ruffle some feathers today, and um, I'm cool with it because the most, you know, the Most High told me to say it, and I'm gonna say it. And you're I, lying again. He did not tell you. The angels on the left hand told you, and you listen to them. I look around. Uh, I identify as a Hebrew Israelite, but it makes it very difficult to do that when I'm associated with hate. You, matter of fact, before we even go into that, let's go on the surface. Let's go with Ecclesiastes. Is it the third chapter, I think? In verse one, in verse one, to every everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up that which is planted. Let's jump down to the point, verse eight. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. The Lord didn't say that it's wrong to hate. The Lord didn't say it's, it's, it's wrong to hate things the Lord say don't hate. But if the Lord said hate something, you better hate it. So now you need to find out what the Lord said you can hate or not hate. Uh, but God is a God associated with hate. Uh, God's not all love, nigga. And this proves it right here. He just said it's a time of love. So does God love, 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 love all the time? Or does God hate sometimes? Okay, we're going to go into that in a second. But hold on. And a lot of camps, and I, I this is specifically for camps. Like I, I'm just gonna say, it's specifically for camps. A lot of camps will tell you, "Oh, we're we're not a hate group." But we and, and there were, and and I'll speak for Great Millstone. We are not a hate group. We are a love and hate group. We love certain things and we hate certain things. Certain things are to be loved. Certain things are be to be hated. But we are not a group that encapsulates the only hate. Hate, 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 hate. All right? No, there's a lot of things I love and a lot of things I hate. Guess what I hate? Wickedness, evil. I hate the, the lies that are coming out of your goddamn mouth. All right? And if you don't repent, I'm going to hate you too. If you repent, I'm going to love you and forgive you. It's that simple. All right? Hey, Esau. Uh, uh, there you go. Her true love, the white man. They tell you not, they tell you to hate Esau. Let's run that back. Let's run, rerun that beautiful bean footage. Hold on a second. That's such a shame. She's a pretty girl. Don't be a pretty dead girl if the Lord don't show mercy on you because he's going to come and get you because he says the wages of sin is death. So you better repent, all right? Say it. I look around. Uh, I identify as a Hebrew Israelite, but it makes it very difficult to do that when I'm associated with hate. And uh, a lot of camps, and I, I this is specifically for camps. Like, I, I'm just going to say it's specifically for camps. A lot of camps will tell you, oh, we're, we're not a hate group. But we hate Esau. Death to Esau. Like, on the street corners, yelling at people, spewing hate. Like, Okay, I'm not going to listen to you anymore because that's her point, where her platform. So I'm going to deal with that because she's going to say more shit. I'm going to dress it. It's going to be a 2,000-hour show because uh, it's already 24 minutes. So uh, spewing hate because we say hate Esau. Let's see what the Lord says. Does he hate Esau? Um, put hate. This is how simple. This is how you know she don't read. Because she would have said, "Hating Esau." Does it pop up? Oh, see, nowhere in the Bible does it say hate Esau. I don't know who that is. Um, hold on, just in case it's business. Nah, they'll call back if it's important. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Let's put hated Esau. Oh, Malachi 1 and 3. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. 
Romans 9 13 and it is written Jacob have I loved but Esau have I hated hmm that's Romans New Testament quoting Malachi 1 and uh, ah they trying to ask my church people trying to make me pay some money all right uh the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi I have this is the burden the load all right the prophet prophetic words given by the Lord to Israel through Malachi let's see yes he he does the Lord don't speak to people per uh, individually proven that he didn't talk to you the angels do and the men of the Lord which are angels we do okay and you choose your from your heart and your belly what you want to follow I have loved you, saith Yahweh. Can't you say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith Yahweh? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. So the Lord said, he hates Esau. What did our king, King David, say in Psalms? Uh, 137 to 7 Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom So-called Esau, the white man In a day of Jerusalem who said, race it, race it Even to the foundation thereof O daughter of Babylon, Esau, Edom, the white man Who art to be destroyed Happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones would I smash somebody baby against the stones if there was not some hate involved? And that was King David. This is Psalms 138. No, it's like uh, 139, I believe. Verse 21. No verse 20. No verse 19. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked. See, the Lord says it's okay to hate the wicked. He said, uh, hate the evil, love the good. So anybody who does, and then the, the prophet says he hates the ungodly and their ungodliness. Not what the Christians say, uh, God hates the sin, not the sinner. That's a lie. Okay, matter of fact, I got to pull that one up. Just for the rocket. All right. All right, this is... Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 14.9 For the ungodly and the ungodliness Are both alike Hateful unto God So if anyone is doing Ungodliness and become ungodly For doing ungodliness And they don't repent to restore And rectify with the Lord They are hateful to the Most High And his men You don't read Alright Surely, back to Psalms 139.19, Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O power. Depart from me, thou, therefore, ye bloody men, for they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. Does Esau take the Lord name in vain? Oh, they called him Jesus, Jehovah. They, 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 they said that they're, they're, they're uh, Jewish people, the Jewish people, you wish you were, all right, are, 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 are the real uh, people of the Bible, which they don't call themselves Israelites, okay, or do the things, or look the part. Okay, so um, they take his name in vain. Do not I hate? Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. did I read that right? Hold on, I'm, I'm reading too fast. Hold on. King David said, Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee, and am not I grieved with those that risen, rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. Oh, I like that in NLT. Yes, I hate them with total hatred. <laughs> For your enemies are my enemies. I count them mine enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. Well, wow, young lady. You're busted. Okay? You're busted. I'm going to give her 15 minutes to 15 seconds to talk and just to see what else come out. The only hatred in this book is from when someone goes against the Most High. Uh uh, you, I just showed. You hate you hate the Lord, because you're going against what the Lord said. He says for us to hate Esau, and you're telling us not to hate Esau. So I'm going to listen to one other thing you said, not to listen to you, because you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. He doesn't tell us to hate 
hate anybody. And I just showed he does. The Ten Commandments are... The Ten Commandments show us how to love him and how to love each other. The law... Oh, the Ten Commandments, there's... Okay, let's go check that out. I'm like, like I'm done because I told you it would go on and on. The she's doing filthy diarrhea, and it's at least another five, ten minutes. Let's see how long this this what, thirty. Oh, she said it's gonna be quick. It was a forty minute video. Uh, we will be here all day. Um, let's go to Exodus. Was it the twentieth chapter? Yes. Ten commandments for the covenant community. So let's go. Thou y'all should not do this and that. We're not gonna read it all. You see, thou should not commit adultery, so forth. The first ten, after verse seventeen, thou, uh, uh, verse eighteen. All the people saw the thunderings and lightnings and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoke. And when the people saw it, they removed and stood far off. And they said unto Moses, Speak thou with us, and we will hear. But let not God speak with us, lest we die. Which proves God only talks to the prophets. When He tried to talk to you people all the israelites said lord you too deep you too much still give us moses to talk us you about to fuck us up and moses said unto the people fear not for god come to prove you and that his fear may be before your faces that you sin not and the people stood afar off said nope and moses drew near into the thickness uh thick darkness where god was uh and the lord sends moses that thus thou shall say unto the children of israel ye have seen that i have talked to you from heaven and then he goes, what? You should not make me, God, make me gods of silver. You should not make me gods of gold. And he goes on to take 613 more laws if you go count them. Or 603 more laws if you go count them. Okay. So it's way more than 10 commandments. And he tells you in the commandments to, uh, to hate whoever is wicked. Keep not that sword back from blood. Uh, don't be down for none of that shit. And I already proved it, so I'm not about to go make this a super thousand long lesson. So, you women, keep your foot, man. Keep your silence, man. All right? Uh, the brothers left good comments. You all can check it out and add to it to give her a spiritual whipping, but she ain't going to listen. All right? Um, yeah, the brothers, see, the brothers cannot go into all this. They're cutting her up. Just keep your mouth, man. All right? So, you know, hopefully this is edifying. Be careful, women. If, if you haven't read the whole Bible from front to back to back to front with understanding and with in uh, going into the Hebrew, going into the Greek, going into the English, and then uh, vetting it through the men of the Lord and under, and then praying and fa fasting and meditating on it to get the true understanding, you ain't going you're gonna be open up your mouth and say this dumbass shit because I'm gonna speak real plain now. If I listen to you and love the white man, then I'm gonna do whatever the white man say. Okay. I'm going to give him credence. I'm going to, the Lord didn't say that. He didn't say to do that. He told us to hate him. So what you're saying is a direct contradiction of what the scriptures say. Hopefully this has been edifying through the spirit and party. Um, all praises and non glory to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba Hashem, 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 Ba Hashem